Okay, take a look around this uh, 1980 Land Rover uh, Series 3 88 inch <coughs> short wheelbase hardtop. Um, refinished in the original marine blue uh, with a cream roof. It's got checker plate um, trim on it here and there. Um, bonnet catches, it's got the deluxe bonnet with the spare wheel carrier on it. Um, I think it's got 109 wheels on it actually. Mud flaps, uh, free wheel front hubs actually. Um, tow bar, that's about it really. Um, nice standard honest little landy really. It's uh, what I can see underneath it, the bulk and chassis look pretty good. Um, but that's subjective, you really ought to satisfy yourself with that one. Um, but uh, in my opinion I can't, without putting on a ramp, I can't say anything too, uh, too desperate there. Um, so it's been refinished in the original marine blue. Let's go around in a bit more detail. Um, it's all right around the front here. So a little bit grubby. Um, there's a sort of dent in the top of the front bumper just there. But it's as you expect for a you know, what 29 year old landing now really. Um, looking down the passenger side, all the panel work down the passenger side looks pretty straight apart from the usual sort of slight waviness of Land Rovers. But um, Near side front wing uh, is pretty good um, from that respect. There's a little bit of cracking in the tread on this near side front tyre actually. That might benefit from uh, um, from, from being uh, replaced at some stage um, in the future. I'll ignore that for a minute. Um, windscreen and scuttle panel on the near side look very good. There's no, uh, no nasties that I can see there. That all looks, uh, looks nice. Um, slight dent just there in the uh, in the A post. Um, near side front door and things like that all look very good. In here, grubby but honest, I guess. Um, so military seats with slightly split backrests on the passenger side. Middle seats fine. Um, it's got these mats on the floor, which uh, looks pretty good under there. Looks like it's had a broken window at some point. Some glass down there. Um, but. Uh, that looks pretty good. Like pretty standard stuff, really. Um, near side rear wing, not bad at all. The top, not bad. <coughs> Around the tail, tail end, not bad. I suspect this um, reflective strip is probably hiding some uh, electrolytic reaction on the back of the door. Actually, no, not too bad. Obviously, the door's been yellow at some point. Um, once again, grubby but used, and there's obviously two spare wheels with it. Um, well, that looks okay around there. Uh, down the offside, bit of scuffing, and um, it looks like it's been rubbed against something a little bit, perhaps down the offside here. We've got uh, um, some defects in the paint. I don't know if it's, something's been scraped against it or what here, or, or uh, but. Sort of round here, the um, it's either sort of stained or uh, or something's been thrown against it or something. I'm not really sure. Um, around there, a few head scratches and a sort of slightly deeper depression in the driver's door just there. Um, same thing here. Looks like perhaps something's been chucked against it at some point in the paintwork. It's uh, might come off with some teacup, might not. Um, but the wing here is uh, slightly pushed in, very slightly here. It uh, feels as if it's um, been scraped against something or other just along there. Uh, scuttle once again on the near side looks uh, looks pretty good. Um, inside on the driver's side we've got the uh, same thing really. Civilian driver's seat. A bit marked but it's um, it's actually pretty good. Or is it an Exmoor seat? I'm not sure. Um, but that's about it. It's, it's, a, so it's an honest Landy really, it's, um, perhaps cosmetically isn't as wonderful as it might be, but um, the basics are there for uh, uh, for a nice one I think. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352.